When it comes to casting a ballot next week, some voters across Northeast Wisconsin are considering the impact of PFAS contamination. For some, they say it can be a deciding factor on who they cast a vote for. Our neighborhood reporter in Marinette County, Valerie Juarez, spoke with area residents today to learn more on how people are feeling ahead of the elections. For Andy Rich of Marinette, she says she has changed her lifestyle due to PFAS contamination. I no longer have carpet in my house. I no longer have Teflon pans in my house. And I don't eat meat. Um, I, I am terrified of the levels in our beef. PFAS is known as a group of forever chemicals used in a wide range of consumer and industrial products. According to the DNR, PFAS contamination has been detected in Marinette, Peshtigo, and surrounding communities, in soil, private wells, and groundwater. It's just very nerve-wracking. And for Rich, this issue is going to be a key factor when deciding who to vote for during midterm elections. Yes, it very much is affecting what I'm going to do with our local elections because we can't afford to continue poisoning ourselves, our families, our loved ones, our friends, our neighbors. But for others also directly impacted by PFAS, this issue isn't going to be much of a deal breaker. I don't feel that my life is being threatened at this point. I feel fine, yes. No health issues. So I, like Mark said, I don't feel threatened for my life for the, from the water. The two say that while PFAS is an important issue, it won't swing them to a certain direction. From the election standpoint, I believe that there are some more important issues that really need to be looked at. Um, more towards a national. No, it's not going to determine my vote so much on Tuesday as much as inflation, crime, the border. Those kinds of issues are much more important in the way I vote. In the town of Peshtigo, Valerie Juarez, NBC 26. And on Election Day, we will have complete team coverage across the state. Starting at 5 p.m., you'll get all your up-to-the-minute results right here on NBC 26.